Hello, everybody. If you're watching the replay, please bear with me while I wait for people to jump on. So I wanted to come on really quick because I need to make something very clear for you guys, for your own well-being. I need to make something very clear for you guys. Very, very clear for your own well-being. For your own well-being, as a Mambo of the Mysteries, I need to make something extremely clear for y'all. Okay? Extremely, extremely clear. And if you do not heed this warning that I'm about to give you, you're going you're gonna to have a lot of suffering in your life. If you don't heed this warning. As a Mambo, I am giving you this warning. Okay? I'm giving you this this message, okay? Because I do, I speak to a lot of people and I talk to a lot of ancestors and I talk to a lot of spirit guides. I have probably in my lifetime spoken to over 200,000 spirit guides and ancestors of my clients. 200,000 because I've read for over 10,000 people, okay? And every person has like four to eight guides and uh, multiple ancestors that walk with them. So, as somebody who is an expert in spirit guides and ancestors, I'm going to give you a warning. When your ancestors that wish you well and your spirit guides tell you, don't let a person in your house, don't lend your stuff to somebody, don't, uh, don't go to a person's house, don't eat from a person, don't drink from a person. I'm also a voodoo saint, my love. And I know the kind of things that people can leave in your house, can put in your food, can put in your drink that will fuck up your life and even kill you without any trace of what they left in your food. There are things that can be put in people's food that science cannot even trace. Okay, there is voodoo work that can be put in your food, that can be put in your tracks, that science cannot even trace. Science only knows like 5% of what's happening in the world. 95% of what happens in this world is known only by the ancestors and the spirit guides. So heed my warning. Okay, because I came here to become an elder. And as an elder, I am telling, as the future elder, I am telling you this, a future elder, be careful when you make moves, when your ancestors tell you no. I have people who are dying for me to visit them. And my spirit guys say, no, we don't like that person's energy. I don't care how nice they are. I don't care how much they kiss your ass. I don't care how much they try to dot on you. We do not want you visiting that person's house. If somebody invites me to some place, invites me out for coffee or invite, even if it's a really nice person, if I ask, per, I always ask permission from my benevolent ancestors and my spirit guides, my misterios. If my misterios, I cannot make a move as a priestess. I cannot make a friendship. I cannot make a move. I cannot make, I cannot go out to lunch with somebody before asking, before going to my altar and asking my spirit guides. And asking my ancestors if I have permission to do this. Why do I ask permission? Because I have respect. Because respect has been lost. And the reason why this world is going to hell right now is because we lost respect for our elders. We lost respect for our ancestors. We lost respect for our spirit guides. And then we want to wonder, why is my life falling to shit? My life is amazing. You know why? I have peace, I have healing, I have prosperity, I have wisdom that I receive from the only beings that matter, my ancestors and my spirit guides that come directly from God. And if you don't start to learn to honor your ancestors and respect your ancestors, you are never going to prosper in your life. You are never going to succeed in your life because you are going to fall in trap after trap after trap of any person that is wishing you ill. Any person that is setting up traps for you. Okay? So if you ask your ancestors, if you, if you get invited somewhere and you get this anxiety about going there, you get this 
um, anxiety, this uneasiness. That is your ancestors. That is your spirit guides telling you, do not go there. It is not in your highest good to be in that place. When I was in college, I used to get invited to a lot of parties with my friends. And one time, I was not aware of this. One of somebody that I thought was my friend, somebody that I thought was a friend invited me to a party to try to get me inebriated so that I would be taken advantage of. And my ancestors told me that and I left. And then it came out and one of her friends told me, hey, just so you know, don't tell her that I told you this, but she was planning to get you drunk and, and, and drugged and pass you around her friends. And if I hadn't listened to my ancestors, if I hadn't listened to my spirit guides, I would have gone through a horrible experience. God forbid. Because people, the devil can be used, can use any person that is, that has evil eye against you, that has jealousy. And I'm not here to try to scare you. I'm here to try to pass on the wisdom of the ancestors and the spirit guides to you. Okay? Que Dios me libre. May God forgive, may God, may God protect us and and guide us away from all evil. And if, but if you have not asked permission of your benevolent ancestors, and you not have not asked permission of your spirit guides to make a move, you should not even move. You should not even open your mouth before you say, is it okay if I do this? Will this be in my highest good? Listen, you don't have to live the way I live. You don't have to live the way I live. But I promise you, I highly recommend that you do this. Because I got reminded today by an ancestor of someone I did a reading for. She, this person is with somebody that their ancestor is saying, this person, the person you want to be with is literally a demonic vessel. And this person was trying to make it work with this person. And her and, and, and the ancestor that came through was like, you, I'm, I will take everything away from you if you stay with this person. Because this person is literally a demon in your life. And you will not receive our blessing if you stay with this person who is there to destroy you. Because your benevolent ancestors are inside of you. They are part of you. They are part of who you are. They are part of, you, of your vessel, of your spirit. And they don't want to see you be destroyed. They want to see you succeed. They, because through you, they are able to elevate. They benefit by giving you their blessing. You are not alone. Stop believing these things that these people out here that want to pull the wool over your eyes and try to make you think that you don't have anybody. Just because you don't get along with your living family does not mean that your ancestors aren't helping you. You have to listen and be obedient. It's not about them controlling you. It's about them guiding you. It's about them guiding you. But then when you don't listen, you can't blame your ancestors. You can't blame your spirit guides or your guardians for not, for not protecting you, for not watching over you. A lot of these like new age practitioners are out here telling people, oh no, you don't need to do ancestral work. That's another misinformation agenda. Okay, 
A lot of these people supposedly channeling extraterrestrials, telling you that, oh no, your angels, your, your, your spirit guides, your ancestors, you don't have to do any work. That is not our, that is not our spirituality, y'all. That is not our spirituality. Stop listening to these people. That is not our spirituality. Uh-uh. If you are of African descent, if you are of, of, of indigenous descent, you know that your spirituality is your ancestors. That is your first line of protection. Don't be believing these, um, these channels telling you that you don't need to work your ancestors. Your ancestors are dead. That's bullshit. That's another misinformation agenda. Because they want to they wanna make them f themselves feel important. And they're going to lead people to never heal. Because they all, all they think is, oh... Karma is over. Karma isn't going to affect us anymore. That's what they want to tell themselves because they don't want to deal with the karma that they have because of what their ancestors did to people of color. And a lot of them are Caucasian people who pretend to be channels for extraterrestrial beings. I'm not saying extraterrestrials don't channel through people. I've channeled extraterrestrials before. They do. But a lot of them... Act like there's no re like there's no healing that has to happen on this planet. Come on. If there was no healing, if there was no growth that we needed to do, then we wouldn't be here, my friends. Your ancestors gain power by you acknowledging them. That is the reason why the mysteries of light asked me to do that ancestor veneration webinar where I go in depth and my my grandfather's spirit guide possessed me during that ritual during that webinar to teach you a little bit about the ancestral realm and the death and transfer process in that webinar so if you haven't watched that webinar I highly recommend that you do okay but you have to realize that a lot of these things Yes, there are higher dimensional beings. Yes, they, those beings exist. But they already did their work and elevated. So any channel that is, that is coming through saying that those beings are saying that you don't have to do work to elevate yourself is, is a false channel. Is a false channel, in my opinion. Is a false channel. Because there is work. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any reason to be here. There wouldn't be any reason to be on this planet. And this planet would be rainbows and sunshine at all times, if that was the case. If there was no work that needed to be done, if your ancestors didn't need to be elevated and, and venerated and empowered. Do you, you want to do something to heal from slavery? Heal your ancestors from slavery? Acknowledge them. Create an altar for them. Pray. Do your own healing. Through you, they will heal. And they will find peace. And they will find liberation. And they will find elevation. Do you understand? That you are connected. It took thousands of people to get you here. Thousands of ancestors to get you here. Have some respect and honor and veneration for that. Do you know the suffering that people had to go through to get you here? You are a physical representation of their strength and of their love and of their hardships and of their successes. Have the respect at least to honor them, to pour a libation for them. You don't have to talk to your current living family. Their work is their problem, their responsibility. But your work is your problem. And the veneration and elevation and honor of your ancestors is your responsibility. Gracias a la misericordia. That is how you will fix your life. That is how you will move forward. That is the most powerful witchcraft you can do. Is honoring your higher self and your ancestors. And everything else, then I and the mysteries can help you with. Every single day, every step you take, give thanks 
for those thousands of beings that suffered, who loved, and who died so that you could be here. And stop allowing the enemy to demonize your ancestors. Stop believing the enemy's lies. The Catholic Church, the Christian Church is our enemy. That is the truth. They enslaved and killed and massacred and tortured the Ancestors whose blood runs through your veins. And you dare enter their house of worship. You dare demonize your own ancestors. Because of what the lies that they have fed down your throat. When they have not suffered for you. Have some loyalty. Have some loyalty and respect because they did not suffer for you. Your ancestors suffered for you. They were whipped and murdered to get you here. Not the fucking Bible thumpers from the Christian and the Catholic Church. Instead, they justified the hardships and the torture and the enslavement of your ancestors. That is the truth you need to remember. And we could want peace and we could come together, but it's not going to happen until they stop demonizing us and trying to take away our power through their false God. And that is the truth. I don't have a problem with Jeshua. I have a problem with the false demonic church that has used an enlightened master to demonize, enslave, and stupefy people of color. And people of color continue to fall for this bullshit. Shame on you. Shame on you, people like Candace Owens. Shame on you. Shame on you. For defending a church that justified the enslavement and killing of our ancestors, of people who run through your veins. You have to hate yourself. To be able to defend that church. You would have to hate yourself. To believe that the ancestors whose blood runs through your veins deserved that treatment. That shows me that you hate yourself. So. Have some loyalty. Have some fucking loyalty. Stop betraying the only beings that are actually looking out for you. Your higher self, your ancestors, your spirit guides, the Orisha, the Loa, the Egyptian beings, the beings from Africa, the beings from the Caribbean, the beings that really truly run through your veins. Those are your true Beings who serve Papa Bondier, our good God, our divine God, that is our God, that gives us power. Wake the fuck up and have some fucking loyalty for yourself. And have some loyalty for the ancestors that suffered so that we could be here. And that continue to look out for us that listen and spend their eternity 
making sure that we are okay and that we can rise up and that we can succeed and that we can feed our families and that we can become freed. Our African and indigenous ancestors have suffered enough. Stop helping those people make your ancestors suffer even more by believing the bullshit that they say about our ancestors. We can want peace. We can embrace Joshua into our hearts. We don't have a problem doing that. But we have a problem with anyone that is going to demonize our ancestors or demonize the Loa, who are the beings that look out for us. Gracias a la misericordia.